All right, I'm gonna make a quick video about what the inside of this front uh, final drive spindle, or whatever you wanna call this, looks like on a, in my case, a 2016 1025R. Um, my serial number is the, the 103235. So if you look up the part um, for the seal that goes under here, that's what's leaking on mine, uh, there's two parts. Mine is, is the later part. It's like a TR number or something. Um, I don't know what yours is going to be. But anyways, what's happening here is the seals are leaking through here. And uh, there's some fluid underneath there. And it was enough to where it was pooling, not on this side, but on the other side. This one's just seeping lightly. If it was like this one, I would not have changed it. In any case, this just comes out with these ball joints. And you got to take off this steering arm here and uh, take off these front bolts around here, pull it out, there's a snap ring inside, you pull that out, this whole thing drops off. I'm gonna make a video about fixing that later on. Um, I'm still waiting for the seals to come in, but what I wanted to show you is what it looks like when it's fully taken apart. Let me close the door. Well, I guess it's just gonna be windy in here. Um, probably need a flashlight because my garage is really dark. So here is the other side. Here's with that whole assembly off, what that spindle looks like. I have not cleaned this up yet, um, but I figured I'd show you what that looks like. On this side, you also have to take off the nut for this, and then that thing just pops off. It's really easy to get these things off, except for taking off this large snap ring right here. You need a very good set of snap ring pliers. In my case, I had some cheap Harbor Freight ones. I could not use them. They, they wouldn't do the job. They wouldn't open wide enough. So I ended up having to buy these somewhat expensive channel lock brand at my local hardware store. Um, anyways, once that comes off, the whole thing drops down and you end up with this. I have cleaned this apart. And I, 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 next, the other one I'm not going to take apart like this, but I really wanted to see what it looked like inside. So you'll have a bearing that goes in there, and I'll kind of show that to you. I've taken everything out except for this one bearing. It's a simple snap ring, and then the bearing comes out, but I decided to not take that one out. And I sprayed the sap of everything with uh, brake parts cleaner, and then wiped it down. Um, just changing the fluid, you know, there is still quite a bit of gunk in there, and there was a lot of dirt that had gotten through the seal. And uh, then I had some rust here at the top that I ended up cleaning up with a bit of sandpaper and whatnot. So, if you're curious to know what it looks like inside, that's what it looks like. Um, I don't have a second person help me videotape, so I won't be able to do a very good job of that. But you've got this gizmo here, this guy here. These things fit super tight, so you almost have to pre-grease them a little bit to get them to go in. So I'm going to pause and I'm going to put this assembly together here. Then this whole thing is going to slide in here into that, um, that recess pocket there. I'm going to pause that, grease that, and be back. All right. When it's put together, it looks like this. This is at the very bottom. And... Uh, I am using, to put it back together, this, um, I, I, I love this Super Lube synthetic grease for just everything. You use it for brakes, it's dielectric, food grade, clean, heavy duty. You can use it for light bulbs, you can use it for a lot of things. Um, probably best ideal to lubricate it with some high guard since that's what goes in here. But a little bit of that grease is not going to hurt anything. And I mean, it is a super light coat. So now I'm going to put a light coat around this bearing and attempt to slide it in to that recess and drop it in. And trust me, if you are off by a millimeter, if you're just, if you're cocked a, a millimeter, it won't go in. It'll, it'll go and it'll, it'll freeze. These things have very, very good tolerances. Uh, one thing also is that while I'm thinking about it, um, this bearing here and the others, they all sounded like sand when I was spinning them. Fortunately, they're just for steering, but now that they're clean, they're super smooth. So um, just, Something to know, you know, change your axle fluid frequently. Uh, I think that will help things. Okay, let me uh, go ahead and attempt to seat this one in. And again, I apologize, but I do not have uh, a way to do this with one hand. Um, and I don't think I can do it while holding the camera.
And just a quick tip I just sort of just thought of, and it worked, is I was having a real hard time getting that thing lined up. It's not fully seated, and so what I did is I took the spindle, so I can pull this thing out of here, this guy here, and I just um, fed it into where it goes in the gear, and that really helped me seat it. So now it's fully seated, and that's what it looks like, and it sounds smooth. You can't hear any of the... Uh, sand and all that that you could kind of hear before so i'm pretty happy with that okay so the next thing is oh and one other thing these bearings in case you take them out and then you forget have letters on one side right there and they're blank on the other side the blank side goes down or was down if it doesn't matter and somebody wants to say it doesn't matter then it doesn't matter but i want to put things back exactly how they were so uh, that's what I noticed. This the, the letters were down on all of the bearings, on both the bearings that I removed. So now it's time for this one. This one just goes in here and seats fully, rats, seats fully down to this little lip right here. All right, so this is uh, how I got it in. Now, one thing to point out is there's a little bit, it's, it's very small, and maybe I sanded it off, um, but there was... A pretty significant well there is definitely a little bit of a lip right here some of that was rust on mine you can still see the pitting from the rust and so I used some 220 grit sandpaper and I sanded it very lightly but deliberately all around and it's pretty smooth now and then the bearing I don't know if I can do this again with one hand it will kind of slide up easily or it would, of course, if you can get if you get two hands on there, um, rats. Well, anyways, if you get two hands on there, you can pull it up evenly. It will slide up to this lip, but it was having a hard time coming through until I did some light sanding and really cleaned it up, and then just put a very light, light thing, a coating of grease around here. So now the bearings in there. Um, I wish I could show it to you sliding, but point is, oh yeah, there it goes. It slid a little bit. It's just hard to do all this with one hand. That's what it looks like. But again, that's supposed to be seated all the way down. Then the seal is going to sit right here. And then that's it. Um, where that spindle is goes right here. And then that is driving or that spindle is going up in here, right? And uh, contacting, you know, whatever this gizmo is here and uh, turning the wheels. Okay, I said just a second ago that this thing is spinning the wheels. What it's spinning is obviously this gear at the bottom that is contacting this larger gear and this is what's driving the wheels here. And then, I don't know what that bearing's for. Oh, I think that bearing just sits in here um, for this whole thing to, the whole assembly to rotate, which again, I cannot do with just one hand. But if you're wondering what the inside of your front final, oh, there it goes. So the, this thing would be affixed and then this part would spin. Uh, in this case, I'm just spinning the outside of it. But if you're wondering what the inside of your John Deere 1025R final drive on the front looks like, that's the full assembly. All right, that's it for this video. I hope this was helpful. I will uh, do a full disassembly and repair of these seals in the next video.